Nine weeks ago, I predicted the exact nerf of the bomber evolution because it was way too strong at release and was so powerful it could easily have ruined the game alone. I am a vocative, long-time analyst and statistician, and in this video, we will cover just how strong the bomber evolution actually was before the nerfs, and also cover the current version. We will break down the evolution's incredible ability, best decks, and best strategies, so you don't want to miss a thing. We need to start by comparing the Bomber to the Bomber Evolution to see just how powerful the new Evolution really is. And I'll be the first one to say that the Bomber Evolution is far better than the regular Bomber because of its insane game-breaking ability and giant health increase. So it easily takes the Bomber from a mid-tier card to an S-tier card easily. Starting with the health increase, we can see the EVO Bomber has 25% more health, with the Bomber EVO having 414 health points and the normal Bomber having only 332 health points. This is certainly a big deal because because the extra health means arrows will not kill the bomber when it's evolved, but more on that later. Here is the confusing part that most players get completely wrong. After the evolution, the sight range of the bomber stayed the same at 4.5 tiles, but its new attacking range is all the way at 11.5 tiles. That is absolutely broken, and it's even further than the magic archer's range. But you should have noticed a big problem here. The sight range and attacking range shouldn't be different, but to understand this, we need to discuss the evil bomber's ability that allowed this to be possible. Without a doubt, it is the best and most dangerous feature of the bomber evolution that really makes it so powerful. Next, we need to talk about the incredible ability, since it's the strongest feature of this evolution, and without it, there's no reason for using this card. So the Bomber Evo's phenomenal ability is called the Bouncy Bomb, and here's how it works. The point is that the Bomber will manage to deal 3 hits that are spread out until 11.5 tiles, with each hit dealing equal damage. However, this is not an original ability because it actually just comes from Clash of Clans, where we can see its true strength and power because it's been out for far longer. So as a brief summary, the goal of Clash of Clans is to carefully build and defend your base from enemy players while training powerful troops to attack other enemy bases for tons of resources and rewards. There are only two different types of bases, the home base and the builder base, which is the one we will be focusing on today. This is where the bomber troop is, which has an ability called the bouncing bomb, the same exact one in Clash Royale. Since its release, the bomber seems to be an annoying troop to deal with. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The key to its effectiveness is the placement, which bomber players soon learn, and had to figure out the hard way. And I'm telling you this so that you don't make the same mistake, because in Clash Royale, the placements will be even more important. For example, with pro card placement in Clash Royale, you could actually hit all three towers from the bridge, or you could clear any ground troop or building if done right, while the normal player who ignores placements will just activate and hit the king tower every time. We want to know how the Bomber Evolution does against other evolutions, to know which evolution to buy with our shards, or to understand if it's actually broken or not. Let's start with the Firecracker Evolution, which is considered one of the best evolutions in terms of strength, and it was the first card to make players hate card evolutions altogether. Yet we can see the Evil Bomber has 5% more health points, with 414 and 394 respectively, and it even does a lot more damage per second than the Firecracker Evolution. Although to be fair, Firecracker has a greater sight range and fires 5 sharp no projectiles, covering a wider range. And that is certainly true, but it is still clear which one is better here. Not to mention, the Bomber Evo is also one less cycle and one less elixir for better stats overall. Moving on, there's also the Ice Spirit Evolution, which is one elixir, yet it was released with three cycles, which is insanely bad. However, we should still compare them, because they are the cheapest evolution so far, which means their stats should be similar, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The Ice Spirit Evolution is regarded as the worst evolution, because it really does doesn't do anything, and to make matters worse, the Bomber Evolution does way more damage anyway. Plus, the Ice Spirit Evolution's health is so low that the regular Bomber only needs one hit to kill it. So you'd agree the Bomber Evolution so far seems to be very powerful, but it's certainly not the best evolution we've seen at release. Because for example, there was the Evolve Knight that could deflect 80% of all damage while moving, and even the Evil Archers with their Power Shot ability, which allows them to do double damage, absolutely melting enemy troops effortlessly. 
The bomber evolution is definitely broken, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. In fact, it's actually not very good against most defense towers in a basic interaction. However, the bomber evo does very well against siege decks, decks that depend on an offensive tower, like the expo, mortar, or mortar evolution, where it will dominate in complex interactions. For example, an offensive tower can always be distracted by a mini tank or wind condition, which will allow the bomber evolution to destroy the princess tower, the offensive tower, and any support troops as well. But against defensive of towers, it will be completely different. The reason for this is because the Evo Bomber has a really small sight range at 4.5 tiles, which is its biggest problem after all. So if we compare this evolution to the Tesla, the Tesla has a larger range. It is underground most of the time, and it will take down the Bomber evolution in just two hits. Not only does the Tesla dominate this card, but the lowest level Expo played defensively at the center can dominate against the Bomber Evo and take it down in only five seconds. Plus the Expo's sight and attack range range is 11.5 tiles, and it has an incredibly quick hit speed, so it's overall much better. However, for its elixir cost, it shouldn't be too surprising. But even the cannon just slightly outclasses the bomber Evo with better, higher stats, being the cheapest tower we've mentioned so far. However, here's a really good tip. If you can distract these defense towers with other troops, then the bomber evolution will literally win you the game because of the bouncy bomb ability, which will allow you to hit the other tower diagonally from the bridge and get insane value. Now we need to know the best decks and strategies for the Bomber Evolution in order to cover its weaknesses and utilize its full power. So the best decks for the Bomber Evolution have a heavy tank, like the E-Giant or the Golem. Not only do the heavy tanks deal with towers, but also bait out enemy troops for the Evo Bomber to use its attack, and possibly hit every troop nearby or every troop plus the tower, which is even better. It's important to note that the Bomber Evo will seriously activate the King Tower a lot, so decks with Graveyard and even Lava Hound may not be the best idea. The best strategy for the Bomber Evolution, however, is to use decks with the Goblin Drill and Tornado. The reason is because the Tornado will bring out enemy troops attacking the Goblin Drill into the middle of the lane, which sets up a perfect shot for the Evil Bomber to stay protected and get a lot of value. But we can still make this a lot better by adding the Cannoneer, but here's why. The weakness of the Cannoneer is that it cannot deal with Swarm Troops very well, yet the Bomber is a card that is only used for this reason to deal with Swarm Troops. So you will cover the weaknesses of the Cannoneer by using the Bomber Evo, and the Cannoneer without this weakness will be far better than the Princess Tower for its higher damage which will lead to a much stronger defense. So it's clear the Bomber Evolution by itself is very powerful for its bouncy bomb ability, health increase, and potential. But if you really want to level up the Bomber Evolution, then you need to know about how the Cannoneer works, which you can learn about in this video next.